What is happening guys? Hi Yolo. Got another tech review today. If you guys like the video, please give it a thumbs up. It really helps out. And if you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing. Today I have the Logitech MX Master 3 mouse, man. So I recently just picked this up. I mean recently as in three, maybe four months ago. So fairly new, but not incredibly new. I was uh, able to, you know, use the mouse for some time and kind of get a feel for what it's like. And uh, overall, I'm gonna say it was much, much better than what I was using before, but that's not saying a whole lot because I was using like a travel size mouse. Um, I, I guess, actually, I was using a gaming mouse, very similar in shape to this before I got to this, but even before that, I was using like a small Microsoft travel size mouse. So, I mean, anything would be better than that small one, but this is definitely a, I would say, not a huge step up from my gaming mouse that I actually upgraded to a different mouse, but it is very similar to that. Um, there are a few things where I would rather, or I would like to have changed to this, but for the most part, it's a very good mouse. And I like to go into the pricing first. The pricing for this mouse is actually fairly high but if you're using it very, very often, like daily for work, and you're using it eight plus hours a day, definitely, definitely worth the money, man, because the wrist and hand pains are not worth it. Um, $100 is a small price to pay for comfortability if you're using something very, very often, like a mouse for work. So with that out of the way, I wanna talk about the comfort of this mouse, man. It is obviously built to be ergonomic, and unfortunately, it is for right-handed people. I don't know if they make a left-handed version. I didn't see one, but does that, that doesn't mean that they do not have one. But with the shape here, you can see it is built to be very ergonomic. It has a cradle for your thumb here, and uh, the shape of the mouse itself, let me see that. Yeah, there we go. You can see how it's kind of, um, angle to one side just so your hand would naturally wrap around it and uh, it rest on it you know in a natural way so you're not more you're you're more like this when you're holding the mouse or anything like this where you're putting tension onto your wrist and your forearm I find that this is fairly comfortable um, we'll go into what I think needs to be improved at least for me and that could just be for me specifically everyone's hand is different but for the most part this mouse is uh, it gets the job done it gets it done fairly well in my opinion there are definitely other features to this mouse that others do not have and it makes it a little worthwhile uh first things first man it is rated for i think 70 hours of use with uh in between charges i've charged this mouse once since i got it out of the box this is the box it comes in by the way and it also comes in a black or a slate colorway this is their gray um, just offer the Greg just because it matches it goes with what I Have on my desk. My desk is white. Uh, I don't know. I just like it Anyways, uh, I have not charged it yet and the last time I checked the battery uh, Level on this was about two weeks ago And it said a hundred percent still and I use this very very often. I use it daily for work, man um, I would say at least eight hours a day and I don't know why it still says 100%, I mean, it, it still works, man. I haven't lost connectivity or anything like that, so the battery's great on this. And it charges with the USB-C in the front of the mouse there, and a charging cable does come with the mouse. I don't remember what the charging time is. I'll have that in the uh, description below, and I'll have all the technical specs in the description below as well, as I do with all my tech reviews. Um, yeah, like it's just a very, very solid mouse, man. Like you just don't have to worry about changing your batteries or anything like that. It just lasts a very long time. Going on to the uh, clicks of this, I mean, it, it's it's a it's a mouse. It works. It, the clicks are solid. They're crispy. If you if that matters to you, they are definitely not mushy. I know mushy buttons on mice definitely ruins the experience, and you know kind of distracts you in a way so i get that but take a look take a listen here they're very crispy and they're very very solid they register very well that's the right click here or left click my, my bad this is the left and then these are the two side buttons this is the back one 
And these two buttons, I mean, every all the buttons on here are programmable, including the center one, which you would think is for DPI. I mean, it could be for DPI, but out of the box, it is not. It's actually for one of the highlights of this mouse, in my opinion, and I think Logitech highlights it quite a bit on their website. I gotta turn it on for it to work. But this is their hyper scroll wheel. Uh, I believe that's what it's called anyways. Um, let me grab my note real quick, my little sticky note, and I'll confirm if it is or not. Be right back. <laughs> Okay, I was totally wrong. It's called the mag speed scroll wheel. And uh, it's the mode is called hyper scroll and then the other one is called ratcheting scroll. So let's see, okay, so I have on ratcheting. Ratcheting is literally what it sounds like. Uh, it, it's notched, I, I guess it feels like it's notched. It's not really notched. So there's magnets inside this mouse. Um, when you switch between the hyper scroll and the ratchet mode, the magnets either flip and so they either create this ratcheting uh, feel to the scroll wheel or they let it just free spin which is amazing um, but you, you you won't be able to hear it because this scroll wheel is incredibly quiet you might be able to here let's let's see yeah there's no way you're gonna hear that I I, I, I don't think so it makes such like it it basically makes zero noise man so that's a ratchet and you can kind of see how that just clicks like a ratchet, like teeth by, or tooth by tooth. And then if you hit the, what you would think is a DPI button, and it usually is on most mice, that then changes it into the hyper scroll mode. So hyper scroll is literally just a free spinning scroll wheel. So check this out. You can see that it's just free spinning, hopefully on camera, and it's incredibly quiet. You can barely hear it, man. And it just, it scrolls like no other. I, I've scrolled through PDFs that are, I don't know, close to a thousand pages. And you can scroll through that thing in like no time, like seconds. It, it's it's incredible, it's ridiculous. It gets some, it definitely takes getting used to, but once you're used to it, it is, it's the best thing. Um, and then of course you got the, let me turn this off. You get the, side scroll wheel here which is very convenient if you're looking at you know very long and large excel files or if you're an editor a video editor and you you know you would use this very often i use it sometimes my videos aren't very long but uh to scroll through the timeline this 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 is amazing i mean it it kind of just saves a whole lot of the click and drag type deal so you can just scroll through with the thumb scroll and then the Typical side buttons here, forwards and backwards is what it's typically, and for this mouse, it's no different. Uh, it's just backwards and forwards, especially when you're browsing. And then there's this button here that's kind of hidden. It's the uh, gesture button. You can kind of see it has a little notch right there, a little, I guess, hyphen or nick, minus mark, subtraction, subtraction mark, whatever you want to call it. Just something to denote that there's a button there, so, that's a part of the Logitech, like a part of this mouse that I like a lot because it comes with the program, the Logitech Options program. So you can program basically every button on this mouse. You know, you can change the DPI on this. You can set up certain gestures, certain tasks to each button for, you know, individual programs. So there's a lot of custom customizability uh, for this mouse, but with that button here is the uh, gesture button. So I haven't used a whole lot of it, but I do however like, I use a PC by the way, so just background information because it's important for this. So on Macs, I used to own a Mac as well. On Macs you can have multiple desktops. I'm sure there's, you know, a Windows app for this, but on Win or Macs you can have multiple desktops, so you know, you can be doing one thing on one desktop and then swipe and then have a whole different thing on a different desktop. So, it, you know, it kind of helps you with multitasking. This mouse comes with the ability to do that on PCs. I'm not sure about Macs because I don't use a Mac anymore. But you press the button, all you do is press it and it opens up like multiple desktops for you. Uh, so same same concept, you can select, you know, desktop one, you say you're checking emails and doing whatever 
desktop two, let's say you're paying bills or you know, whatever, and then desktop three, let's say you're editing a video. So you can switch between desktops and literally that all that does is it has, you know, these programs for this desktop and then certain programs for a second desktop and then video editing programs for your third desktop and then uh, you can always open multiple of the same windows within the desktop so it's just very convenient when you're uh, multitasking so I really like that feature and another large feature that I haven't tried out but it seems very very cool is this mouse you can transfer files between operating systems and between devices so let's say you have a Mac and you have a PC right and you want to transfer one file to another you literally could just copy a file from let's say your Mac and paste it over to your PC which is pretty damn cool in my opinion man you don't even need to connect anything between them you literally just use the mouse and I'm assuming you'll need the Logitech Options program installed on both of those devices and you can just copy and paste directly over um, wirelessly assuming on the same network very cool I never had to do that uh, but having that is I don't know just knowing that I have is pretty damn cool man and yeah just the mouse itself is feels very very sturdy it's built with quality there's grip like a soft texture right here where your palm would be and where the thumb cradle is and then the buttons are not they're just very good quality plastic the scroll wheel I believe is aluminum and you can hear the center click here I missed that but the center scroll wheel is it feels solid nothing nothing to it um, same with the thumb wheel very very solid it doesn't have the hyper scroll the ratcheting it's just a regular scroll wheel is actually kind of slow but per scroll it actually scrolls quite a bit um, and of course I forgot to talk about the connectivity so it connects either with a USB dongle or Bluetooth so Bluetooth you have three modes here or three options so you can connect up to three devices and all you do is press the uh, black button here and it changes from one to three per you know whatever device you have it on and then of course you have the USB dongle for anything that doesn't have Bluetooth or you don't want to use the Bluetooth uh, that just plug and plays basically but for the most part if you want to be able to customize all the options or this all the options that come with this mouse like DPI uh, gestures and um, individual buttons on here program to whatever program or however you like it you will need that Logitech options program which is not that big of a deal it is just a very easy interface uh, you select the button and you select what it wants to do it's literally just as simple as that but um, go on to the uh, cons as well, or at least my cons. The cons I have this this mouse is very similar to my old gaming mouse that I upgraded since then. Uh, it's kind of narrow. I don't have huge hands. I'm a av I would say I have average, maybe even smaller on the small hands on the smaller side. But I find that this mouse could be slightly wider. If it was wider, then my hand wouldn't be so. You know, I wouldn't be grabbing it so narrow. I would be more relaxed, more natural, I guess, more neutral. Um, but not saying that that's a huge problem. It's just, if it was a little wider, I think it'd be more comfortable for me. But then again, my hands are different than your hands, or my hand, I guess, is different than your hand because you're only using one. Um, and I find that my uh, pinky usually drags on my mouse uh, pad. And that's not a huge problem, but it would be better in my opinion, if my if it was a little taller, it's just so then my pinky would be kind of elevated off the mat. But again, maybe it's a me thing. Not that huge of a deal. I've never had any blisters or any like mouse pad burns in my pinky or anything like that. So it's very very minor, man. Um, what else? Uh, I'm not quite sure if there's anything else. You know, like con wise for this that's literally just my two very very small complaint about this mouse just a very solid mouse very minimalistic design you can see that there's like a very very minimal uh, design here with the little ridges they're not very pronounced or anything like that and they provide some a little bit of grip you know along with the texture it's very nice and then very minimal branding too it just says Logi right there on the left button left click button Overall, man, 
very, very happy with this mouse. It's been getting the job done. I mean, I don't have many complaints other than those two. For gaming, I, I mean, I guess you can use it for gaming if you want. This is a heavy mouse. It is, you know, it's built for productivity. Uh, not so much gaming, but you, it's a mouse, once again. You can use it for whatever you like. But definitely, uh, if you have a designated or a dedicated gaming mouse, it's going to be, it's going to outperform this for sure. Because the DPI is going to be different. The track is going to be different. Tracking on this, by the way, is very good. It can actually track on glass as well. I think it has to be a minimum of like, I don't know, four centimeters or something like that. But I tried it without a mouse pad. It tracks perfectly fine. It never skips a beat. Um, but again, if you have a designated gaming mouse, it's definitely going to outperform a productivity mouse hands down all day, every day. So like I mentioned before, I'll leave all the technical specs of this mouse in the description below. I feel like it's just quicker for you guys to be able to see the text and reference it rather than having to play the video over and over and listen to what I'm saying. I will also have the Amazon affiliate link to this mouse in the description below. What that means is if you guys purchase this mouse through the affiliate link, then I get a small commission and it just helps support the channel. And I greatly appreciate it. If you guys have any questions about this mouse or comments, please leave them in the comments below. Um, and of course, give this video a thumbs up. This was the Logitech MX Master 3. And as always, dreaming dreams and believe all things are possible. Thank you for watching.